hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so i'm recording this with the video mic and tg via type c straight to the computer no need an audio interface i already applied the same tweaks that i did to my sure sm58 so this is the video mic and tg guys what do you guys think is it worth the money to upgrade the sm7b well i'm sorry to say guys sm7b is on its way to me and i'm gonna test it bare bones then second apply the cloud lifter third last but not least i'm gonna try to tweak exactly sounding like this with the equalizer and everything else we're gonna do a session that i'll be wanting to know which is the tweaking at the back side of sm7b let's go so there you can see that where we were it was flat and now it rolls off and oh, you can see okay. here as you're listening to me okay bass roll off audio test me right here in the moment now i'm going to show you the presence boost Presence boost. Go up. Is it going up? Oh, it's going up. I popped it up for the presence boost, and now you can see a little. I don't know. It sounds like very sharp, but it's annoying sharp, you know? Base roll off, I have to put bottom on the left. If I want the presence boost, go up on the right. Okay. One of them is going to be a low cut filter, which will reduce the low end of the recording. The other is a presence boost, which will increase the higher end of the recording. It's whatever filter at the back of the microphone is meant for people who like to speak close to the microphone and want to be clear at the same time. All right. But I am partial to the completely neutral mode, no low cut and no presence boost engaged. Let me go ahead and switch back to that. And finally, once you... This sounds better. We don't need that filter. Jigama jiggy. Man, just keep it this way. Okay, what I learned from the videos, I don't need to touch the switches at the back. I don't need that. Second... I need to target negative 18 dB out of the box. I try to get that. And then um, the cloud lifter, even despite the fact that I plugged in, I have to still target negative 18, but make sure there's phantom power. And other videos I've seen that they're talking about, make sure the cable or XLR is not too long because you're passing through phantom power. So leave it at B. So all right. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Um, hopefully my video Mac NTG do justice at least at certain areas of making it sound quality for you guys. Okay, catch you guys in the next one.